and blessings. Welcome to Afrocentric Home Design and Style Channel. Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie of the Afrocentric Home Design and Style Channel. Yeah, that's what the new name is, Home Design and Style Channel. And today we are going to be talking about making cabinet doors for our cabinets. Now, if you are interested in this, stay tuned. Peace and blessings. Okay, y'all. So this is the reason why we want to do some cabinet doors. Now, I thought that I really liked the open face cabinet and I do love open face cabinet, but you actually have to be so very neat with everything. And I'm realizing that I'm not always neat with it. And then I have this thing where I want everything to kind of like be color coded and always matching. And it's just not been really realistic. And then I live with my partner too, my man. So, you know, he gonna put the things where they fit in and it makes a lot of sense. At first I thought like I would do like spices, then I was gonna keep this shelf, dishes, which I'd still have. I thought those was gonna be black and white and then everything else and then the pots on the top. But and then here I was gonna I was thinking I'll do okay colorful, but it's actually kind of a little too busy on the eyes. So we have another solution. First of all, we're gonna do cabinets. But for me, you know, I cannot just do any cabinets. They have to have something. They have to have something. So I'll give you an example. If you look at our windows over here, you will see that they are very versatile. They're beautiful. There's actually a net, which is a screen, and then they have the bamboo. Uh, it's going in diagonally against the uh, window. So I kind of wanted to play off that. So this is what I'm thinking. So we have one, two, three, four shelves. The top, we're going to have a cabinet, but it's going to be split in the middle. And we'll have one cabinet this way and one cabinet here, and we will be able to open it up. I'm even thinking about using, oh, I don't even know where it is. Um, anyway, here it is. This actually goes with, I think I told you about this. We call this in Ghana, they call this the Ghanaian uh, blender. And this is where they crush, smash, break down like pepe, which, which is peppers, tomatoes. And this is what they use. And I'm even thinking of putting these maybe on the cabinet. So when I open it, it'll have a more of a uniqueness. Okay, so then we'll come down here. Again, we'll have the two cabinets here and then the handles. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna have the two cabinets split in the middle, right? And it's gonna open this way. Now, this is the catch though. On the cabinets when they're closed, I wanna actually use this wonderful wood. This wood is called ala wood. And it is, that's the Edway word for the particular wood. And it's actually kind of similar to the, a palm leaf branch or the palm branches. And it's that stem part that's really, that's really thick and strong. And to you, to your eyes, it will look like wood, but it's actually kind of not a wood. And you find it in deep forests and it's, um, it's, in, it's indigenous, at least to here. It might be indigenous to other places. So think about it. And to your eye, it may even look a little like the bamboo. And what we're going to do is, so keep in mind the diagonal thing. So this is what I want. So I'm going to have my, uh, my Nasi go all the way back so that he can get me and this. What I want is I want diagonal all of the, the ala wood pieces because they're going to be cutting pieces going diagonal this way, diagonal this way, diagonal this way. Now we're going to the second shelf, diagonal this way, and it all meets in the middle. I think that'll be so cool. And then I actually want to do... Here, I want to do it a little bit differently. And that's what I love. I got to be different. I just want it to be split in the middle, the two cabinets, only I want the ha'ala to go horizontally on the cabinets. So are you liking this idea? Do you think it's going to be beautiful? It really is. So I want you to stay tuned. We, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the olive wood in the next video. Um, that we're going to talk to uh, the person who actually makes it, and which is an elderly man uh, in, the, in the community. And uh, I think it's going to be very beautiful. Y'all let me know. Peace and blessings. For joining us today, I hope you enjoyed. And please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next one. Peace and blessings. Mm -hmm.